Hi, welcome back to the channel. There's been a lot of talk about air transmission of coronavirus and a lot of people in news channels, everyone have already spoken about it, but I just wanted to be sure before uh, I spoke about it. And I think now is the right time. So what is air transmission? Does it mean that if you are standing out in your balcony, chilling, having a coffee or something that coronavirus is gonna waft through the air, come and infect you? That's what we'll be discussing in this video. And at the end, I'll also be discussing what you can do to, you know, stay safe from air transmission. Before we get started, my name is Ajay. I'm a doctor working in Bangalore. And this channel is where I discuss medicine, lifestyle, and a bit of a medical related entertainment. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and click on the bell icon. Helps me grow the channel. Let's get started. What is air transmission? Now, whenever a person coughs or sneezes or shouts or sings or even breathes, respiratory secretions, that is the fluid in the res upper respiratory tract that is in your nose and mouth is expelled out in the form of respiratory droplets and respiratory aerosols. Droplets are larger particles, more than five microns in size and aerosols are smaller particles, less than five microns in size. Now, an example for a droplet would be, um, say you're sitting in a restaurant opposite somebody and when they're speaking, sometimes you get a little splash of saliva on your face, right? It's disgusting, but yeah, it has happened to everyone. So yeah, those are droplets. You can even see it with your bare eyes because they're quite large. Now coming to aerosols, a good example would be room freshener. When you spray room freshener in the air, it becomes aerosolized and it stays in the room for a very long time. Now the droplets quickly settle down. In still air, a 100 micron size droplet settles down from a height of 8 feet in 4.6 seconds. Coming to aerosols, they don't settle down. Instead, they just float around in the air. A one micron sized aerosol can stay in still air in a closed environment for up to 12.4 hours. Corona transmission was previously thought to happen only through droplet spread. That is when a person coughs or sneezes and if you're close to him and if you're in that spray zone, those droplets will land on your nose and mouth or somewhere on your face and then gets into the nose and mouth or it lands on some surface and you touch it and you touch your eyes or nose or mouth before washing your hands. But this might be outdated science because most of this are based on studies done in 1930s where we didn't even have instruments that, you, that could detect small aerosols. But there's new evidence based on recent studies that these small aerosols can be a very significant route of coronavirus spread. Now these aerosols can remain suspended in the air for a very long time and if you breathe, a sufficient amount of these aerosols in that can give you the infection and that is what air transmission actually means. Now what you have to note is that this is very important in indoor spaces, in enclosed spaces where the virus can stay and when you breathe it in it can infect you but this is not very significant outdoors so if you're standing out in a balcony it can't really affect you. Now this air transmission is not a new thing, it's not some mutation that the virus has gained the virus has suddenly not become more, uh, you know, dangerous or something like that. This was always there. Only now we are beginning to understand it. Should this aerosol transmission or air transmission be a cause of worry for you? Well, the answer is yes and no. Yes, because that means the in infection would spread more easily than previously thought. And these infections tend to be a bit more severe. And the no is because with a few steps, you can prevent that spread. So that brings us to the discussion of what can be done to prevent this air transmission of coronavirus. And this becomes really important if you are someone who is working or spending a lot of time in closed spaces with poor ventilation or closed spaces with air conditioners like say offices or uh, hospitals, restaurants, gyms, etc. The first and the most important one is universal mask usage. Now, in a closed space, if everyone's wearing a mask and they're wearing the mask properly, covering both their nose and mouth, the chance of infection through either droplet or through aerosols is very less. So if a person is wearing a mask properly, even when they speak or if they cough or sneeze, most of the droplets and the aerosols as well will be caught in the mask itself. Point number two is installing HEPA filters at workplaces and non-domestic areas. HEPA filters, short for high efficiency particulate air filters, filters around 95 to 99.7% of all the particles that go through them 
even particles as small as 0.3 microns so all of the most of the respiratory aerosols will also be filtered by these all regular air conditioner filters in non domestic environments should be replaced with hepa filters uh, a lot of airlines have done this on all their aircrafts this will filter the air properly and reduce the viral load significantly and these hepa filters are not very expensive as well so they add a great value to protection against the coronavirus and a lot of air filters these days come with hepa filters installed in them so check those out as well now step number 3 is wear a mask and spend as less time as possible in enclosed spaces like i mentioned in my other videos a single virus can't give you the disease it needs a significant amount of viral load to give you the disease and this can be understood with a very simplified formula of viral load equals viral concentration in an area times the amount of time you spend in that area so the virus concentration in an area can be significantly reduced by the steps 1 and 2 that i mentioned and reducing the time you spend in that area that depends on you so spend as little time as possible in these closed uh, spaces with bad ventilation and please always wear a mask because a mask adds 60 to 70% more filtration to the air that you are breathing so that means you have 60 to 70% less chance of getting infected and that is hugely significant so with simple steps like these air transmission can be prevented i have also discussed five very simple everyday habits that you can use to you know prevent getting corona uh, and another video discussing the types of masks which is you uh, should be used wear and which is the best choice for you i'll link both of the videos up here and if you like this video please like and share it with your friends and family and also subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in the next video